Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's special episode is a fascinating, then and now, journey through the lives and careers of the iconic cast of the 1973 classic western, High Plains Drifter. We're diving deep into the stories of these talented actors, from their memorable roles alongside Clint Eastwood in this groundbreaking film to where they are now. So, saddle up as we explore the captivating journeys of Clint Eastwood, Verna Bloom, Mariana Hill, and the rest of the unforgettable cast. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more exciting content. Let's get started. Clint Eastwood as the Stranger. Birth and Early Life. Born Clinton Eastwood Jr. on May 31, 1930, in San Francisco, California, Clint Eastwood grew up during the Great Depression. He faced the challenges of constant relocations before finally settling in Piedmont, California, in 1940. Drafted during the Korean War, Eastwood was stationed in California. His post-military life led him to Hollywood, where a 1954 screen test with Universal marked the beginning of his acting career although he faced early setbacks with minor roles. Rise to Stardom Eastwood's breakthrough came in 1959 with the TV western, Rawhide, where he played Rowdy Yates. The role made him a household name. His success continued with, Hang Em High, 1968, and notably in, Dirty Harry, 1971, where he played the iconic Harry Callahan. This role, along with his catchphrase, Go Ahead, Make My Day, cemented his status as a cinema icon. Directorial Ventures. Eastwood's directorial debut was with, Play Misty for Me, 1971. He directed and starred in several other significant films including, High Plains Drifter, 1972, and, The Outlaw Josie Wales, 1976. Notable Works and Awards. Eastwood's notable works include, Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, American Sniper, and, Mystic River. His prestigious awards include multiple Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture, and several Golden Globe Awards. Current status. As of now, Clint Eastwood continues to be active in the film industry, both in front of and behind the camera. Verna Bloom as Sarah Belding. Birth and Early Life. Verna Bloom was born on August 7, 1938, in Lynn, Massachusetts. She embarked on her acting journey on Broadway, portraying Charlotte Corday in The Persecution and Assassination of Jean-Paul Merritt in 1967 and Blanche Morton in Brighton Beach Memoirs in 1983. Career Highlights Bloom made her film debut in Medium Cool and co-starred in Clint Eastwood's High Plains Drifter, 1973. She played significant roles in over 30 films and TV episodes, including Mary in The Last Temptation of Christ, 1988, and Marion Wormer in Animal House, 1978. Death. Verna Bloom passed away at the age of 80 on January 9, 2019, in Bar Harbor, Maine, due to complications from dementia. Marianna Hill as Callie Travers. Birth and Early Life. Marianna Hill, born Marianna Schwarzkopf on February 9, 1942, in Santa Barbara, California, started her acting career as an apprentice at the Laguna Playhouse later joining the La Jolla Playhouse and the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater. Career Highlights Hill's film debut was in, Married Too Young, 1962. She starred in Western films like, El Condor, 1970, and, High Plains Drifter, 1973, as well as in the cult horror film, Messiah of Evil, 1973. She also had a notable role in, The Godfather Part II, 1974, as Deanna Dun Corleone. On television, she guest-starred in series such as, Star Trek, My Three Sons, and, Hogan's Heroes. Later career and teaching. After her active acting career, Hill moved to New York to teach at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute and later taught in London. She continued to teach acting privately and at workshops, maintaining her influence in the acting community. Current status. Marianna Hill currently resides in London, UK, where she continues her work as an acting teacher. Mitchell Ryan as Dave Drake. Birth and Early Life. Born on January 11, 1934, in Cincinnati, Ohio, and raised in Louisville, Kentucky, Mitchell Ryan embarked on a journey that would make him a recognizable face in American television. Career Highlights. Best known for his roles as Burke Devlin in the gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows, and as Edward Montgomery in, Dharma and Greg, Ryan's career spanned over six decades. He also made a memorable appearance as the villainous General Peter McAllister in the 1987 film, Lethal Weapon. 
Theater and other roles. A life member of the Actors Studio, Ryan's theater credits include Wait Until Dark, Medea, and The Price. His television appearances were varied, including roles in Canon, The Streets of San Francisco, and Barnaby Jones. Final years and death. Mitchell Ryan's acting career continued until 2022. He was married to Barbara Ryan, and they had three children. Ryan passed away due to heart failure at his home in Los Angeles, California, on March 4, 2022, at the age of 88. Jack Jing as Morgan Allen. Birth and early life. Jack Lee Jing was born on November 30, 1931, in Alva, Oklahoma. His journey in the entertainment industry began in the late 1950s. Career highlights. Jing was best known for his role as General Harlan Bull Fulbright in NBC's television adventure series, The A-Team, and his supporting role in the final season of Tales of Wells Fargo. He also starred in Sniper's Ridge, 1961, and played Will Coleman in Where the Red Fern Grows, 1974. Work with Clint Eastwood. His collaborations with Clint Eastwood were significant, appearing in films such as Hang Em High, 1968, Play Misty for Me, 1971, and High Plains Drifter, 1973. Final years and death. Jing's acting career spanned until 1994. He died of natural causes at his home in La Quinta, California, on September 9, 2022, at the age of 90. Stefan Girash as Mayor Jason Hobart. Birth and early life. Born on February 5, 1926, in New York City, New York, Stefan Girash began his acting career in the early 1950s after studying at the Actors Studio. Career highlights. With over 100 screen appearances, Girash was a versatile actor. He performed with the Trinity Square Players and appeared in films such as The Hustler, 1961, Jeremiah Johnson, 1972, and High Plains Drifter, 1973. Later career. In his later years, Girash appeared in the Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito film, Junior, 1994, as Edward Sawyer, and in Murder in the First, 1995, as Warden James Humson. His television appearances included shows like, Kung Fu, Moss H, and, Er. Final Years and Death. Girash was married to actress Hedy Sontag for 33 years and had three children. He passed away at home from a stroke in 2014 at the age of 88. And there you have it, the remarkable journeys of Mitchell Ryan, Jack Jing, and Stefan Girash, from their early days to their iconic roles in High Plains Drifter, and beyond. Their legacies continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. As we close this chapter, we invite you to share your thoughts and memories of these incredible actors. Did you have a favorite role or a personal memory related to their work? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more, then and now, stories about your favorite stars. Until next time, keep watching and keep remembering the greats.